Like this video for bruh. No joke, if you like this video right now, a bruh will fly into your house. Just do it now. All right, everyone, welcome back. Now that vegan teacher. Now I've been seeing recently quite a few people on YouTube that have apparently seen that that vegan teacher has decided to quit being vegan. Now I'm pretty sure everyone who makes these videos like this are just trying to troll and annoy that vegan teacher. So I thought why not add to the pack since that vegan teacher is most likely going to see this video. And obviously, right, I'm the biggest troll on the internet. Like it's very, very funny. But today we're going to be watching this very weird video from that vegan teacher called everyone can be vegan including you including me vegan teacher really okay then now this title already is just completely false i mean come on that vegan teacher again you do just simply fail to understand the fact that people with health conditions simply need to eat meat and protein to survive but okay then but anyway let's have a look at this yo go follow my instagram okay j j okay j just do it why should I go vegan, you're asking yourself? Well, look at this delicious food. It looks like chicken, right? But it's not. It's Gardein Chipotle Lime Crispy Chicken Fingers. Okay, vegan teacher, already off the bat, I have so much to say. Firstly, is that chicken? You're trying to tell me that vegan teacher is trying to get me to eat some Chipotle Lime Crispy Chicken. Vegan teacher, I don't know about you, but that seems very, very suspicious to me. Are you trying to confess something here? I think she is, to be honest with you. There's no way that that vegan teacher is just casually just showing pictures of chicken and saying, let's all eat this, guys. This is so sad to see. I've been a vegan teacher supporter for five years straight. I couldn't imagine seeing my favorite vegan teacher just, just crumb into some chicken. Like, what is this? This is just one example of the amazing vegan foods that you can cook and buy and eat. Wait, okay. So, so apparently it's vegan chicken. What, what is this? Vegan teacher, we're 18 seconds in and you've already completely confused me. Are you telling me that this is vegan? That this food is vegan? You're telling me that this is vegan, but you're literally showing me a, like a, a literal piece of crispy chicken. I don't get it. How, how a chi- how is chicken vegan? Vegan is literally like not consuming animal products. I'm pretty sure chicken comes from chick- oh, okay, I'm lost already. Now I plastified this because it comes from this PETA starter kit, which you can order by the way for free from PETA.org. Oh, well, of course she supports PETA. I mean, I'm not even surprised at this point. PETA is probably the worst organization on the planet, even worse than Facebook. Like I genuinely, I, I don't believe in anything PETA does. It's literally just animal rights activism, just like multiplied by 300 times over past that vegan teacher. Peter is probably worse than that vegan teacher. You know, if you guys want me to make a video on Peter, get, get this video to 3,000 likes and I'll do that because I, I, I honestly have so much I need to say about Peter. There's all kinds of amazing recipes there. Let's look at the reasons to be vegan. Okay, so so I, I'm just going to look at this one on the right here. Save animals every time you sit down and eat. That looks like a chicken to me, that vegan teacher. Now, looking at the first page you just showed us, you just showed us a piece of crispy chicken. How is that saving the animals, vegan teacher? I'm very confused confused here. I, I genuinely think she's trying to confess something here, but like, like uh, obviously non-verbally, but I think she's trying to confess something because there's no way that the vegan teacher would literally just go on video and just be like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to eat chicken. But you know, that would be very, very funny. I would, I would love to see that vegan teacher just, just numb on some food for no reason. One, you can fight climate change with a fork. Eat properly and you will be contributing less to climate change. Okay, I, I don't know how that works. So apparently, apparently, apparently being vegan just solves every problem on the planet, does it? Yeah, guys, if you're poor and the entire world goes vegan, poverty, poverty will be no more. Homelessness won't exist and everyone will live in peace. Yeah, that, that, that's definitely, that's definitely what veganism can do. It's so powerful, guys. Live longer and live better so it's for your own health. And also, it's great for the animals. Every time you sit down to eat. Yeah, it's great for the animals eating crispy chicken, isn't it, that vegan teacher? It doesn't make any sense to me why you would show a picture of crispy chipotle chicken and then show a picture of a chicken apparently saving the chicken every time you eat. Vegan teacher, there, there is something that you need to confess. I, I, I like, don't think you can just get away with that. You just showed us a piece of crispy chicken. Does not look very vegan to me. Of course, you're going to be saving so many animals from harm. So why not do it? Why not be vegan? There's just no excuse for animal abuse. There's no excuse for animal abuse. Oh, uh, how about people with health conditions that actually need to eat meat? And how about my taste buds who probably won't go a, who probably won't go a week without consuming a dairy product? Vegan teacher, I'm not buying your your vegan food, all right? As much as you like to say, oh, it doesn't even taste that bad. Yes, it does, all right? I've tried it before. It tastes like absolute gut. I have a whole setup here of a bunch of stuff I want to show you. These are stickers that you can get from PETA.org for free. Listen, I don't care. No one likes PETA. Org. Everyone hates PETA. It's literally the worst organization on the planet. They've done so much sketchy stuff and you're out here promoting it. No one wants to go to PETA. You can put them on your computer if you want. 
Uh, I personally don't paste them very many places because I use them in my videos here and to remind people that, um, you know, little chicks are not nuggets. Yes, they are. Chickens are nuggets. What do you mean? You can't sit here and tell me that that chicken nugget I ate two days ago, it, it, it did not come from a chicken because it did. Chickens are nuggets. I will eat chicken nuggets till the day I die. They are so delicious and they, they are just amazing. And you seem to think that too, vegan teacher, because uh, from what I saw before, I, I don't think the, uh, uh, I, I don't know about your little vegan beliefs here. And that you shouldn't take the wool from sheep and that you know you shouldn't go to circuses because the animals are not here to perform for us oh my god vegan teacher you are the most boring person i've ever come across you're probably one of those people like deep vegan who go out saying don't shoot fireworks because it scares the animals i don't care if it scares the animals fireworks are cool go away let me do what i want to do why do you care so much about a tiny little chicken who has probably done nothing good for the planet like why and of course Eating meat is not macho, nor is it good for the environment. And LGBTQ people, you guys shall be vegan. So should everyone. Oh, uh, why are you using, why are you using LGBT like rights and all this stuff and just like uh, normalizing LGBT as a way to promote your vegan lifestyle? No one cares about your vegan lifestyle. I don't know how many times we got to say it. Everyone's made videos saying that no one cares about your vegan message, but you just don't seem to listen. So I'm just going to spell it out for you, vegan teacher. No one cares if you're vegan, okay? If you want to be vegan, good on you. Everyone, everyone will respect that. But don't go around doing all this on online forcing everyone to be vegan. It's just not gonna work like that. Every minority group should be vegan. If you know what it means to suffer, why make others suffer? And of course, bacon makes pigs sad because you're murdering them. Bacon makes pigs sad. You know what? Bacon makes me happy. When I eat bacon, I think of happiness. Because bacon tastes delicious, boys. Like, I don't know if, I don't know if you've tried bacon before. If you haven't, you're missing out. Oh my, it is so good. For no reason, when you can eat other things, so, don't forget also about fur. Recently, Canada Goose has declared that they are going to stop putting fur on their coats, which is amazing, but unfortunately, Canada Goose is still using feathers, so that's speciesism. That's speciesism. Oh, go away. I don't care. Like, look at me. Does it look like I actually care about using feathers? I, I like, I'm, I'm going to keep using feathers. I've never used a feather in my life, but I, I don't go around saying, hey, just because I don't use feathers doesn't mean you have to as well. Like, it just doesn't work like that. If you want to use feathers, go for it. I don't care. You know, saying, well, we're not going to kill this animal, but we're just going to go ahead and keep killing all these other ones. It's wrong. We need to keep protesting against Canada goose. And at school, remember, you can choose not to dissect. You can simply tell your teachers you refuse to do that. Oh, for God. I, like, it's just, it's just vegan teacher, just the biggest party pooper on the planet. Not dissecting. So you're basically telling people not, like, not to dissect, like, animals in, in health class. Like, it just doesn't make any sense, vegan teacher. The animals already died. Why do you care so much? If an animal's already dead, right? And, and then there's a student who's like, I don't want to, I don't want to dissect that animal because it's dead. Why does it matter? The D the, 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 not not participating in dissecting a frog is it gonna make it come back to life like come on it doesn't make any sense because the thing is right is that is that people don't just go out killing frogs just so that they could dissect them for education they wait till they die then they dissect them you can learn everything about the bodies of all the animals by using the internet there's no reason to cut them in class it's absolutely crazy to absolutely crazy they're already dead vegan teacher why do you care where do you get your protein people can easily get all the protein they need from vegan foods without artery clogging cholesterol and saturated fats found in animal products so this shows you that all of these different foods have protein in them there is no reason to eat meat or egg. Yes, there is a reason to eat meat and eggs because they taste a lot better than green peas, broccoli, veggie burger. Ew, what even is that? It's still a burger, vegan teacher. Peanut butter. So you're telling me I'm going to get my main source of protein from peanut butter. You are out of your mind. Spaghetti. Okay, vegan teacher, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure there's eggs in spaghetti, isn't there? I like that. That might be just me. Or maybe, maybe, maybe this is a vegan teacher's another way of saying, oh yeah, we're not going to put eggs in spaghetti anymore. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, if, if I want to eat meat and I want to get my protein from eggs and meat, then I'm going to do that. Or any cheese or anything like that. You can get everything you need from 
healthy veggies, fruits, nuts, Vegan chicken nuggets. Grain. Again, vegan teacher, is this something you need to confess? Because like vegan chicken, I, I just, it just doesn't make any sense. It's still chicken. Like what? This is hurting my brain. This is really just hurting my head. I suggest that you follow some amazing vegan athletes if you want to know uh, how they do it. There are so many of them and um, they are great. They are on Instagram. Just Google healthy vegan athletes. They're the, in the Olympics and everywhere. I want to just show you a little bit about what happens in the egg industry. So this is a baby boy chick. Now they murder these little babies one day old and his life is over. The truth about cage free eggs. Male chicks are killed the day they hatch because they don't lay eggs. Now this particular pamphlet comes from be fair, be vegan. Okay, vegan teacher, I just got to explain this to you right now because you simply just don't understand. Obviously, right, killing baby chickens the day they are born is not is not something that we should be, like, doing at all. Because obviously, right, there's no reason to do it. You don't get any food from it, and it's just, it's you're basically just killing them for no reason. Like, like you might as well just let them out. You might as well just let them live. Which is why, vegan teacher, killing adult chickens isn't that bad because at least they got to live a life and then we can consume them for food and protein. The thing is, vegan teacher, you, you gotta understand this. If we're killing baby chickens, right, when they're one day old, obviously it's not for meat, right? It's just because, oh, they're, they're a waste of space. Obviously, right, the, the, the meat industry is not perfect and neither, neither is the dairy industry. I'm sure that there's a lot of torture that goes on there. But at the end of the day, you can't cut out like the, the, the small minority of animals that get tortured and then just say, oh yeah, all meat is bad, all dairy is bad, everyone must eat vegan products from now on. It just doesn't make sense. Dot com. You can order these for free. I took my plastification machine and I plastified it because I don't want it to go to waste. I want to film it several times. Let's go over here what happens. Male chicks are killed the day they hatch because they don't lay eggs. I, I don't care. Like, it's just it's just got nothing to do with me. That is not my fault. Why are you trying to pin this on me? It's like every person who's watching this video, you're literally trying to sit here and say, oh yeah, male chicks are killed the day they hatch because they don't lay eggs and that is everyone's fault. No, it's the fault of the meat and dairy industry. Like, and, and, like and that's even if it's true in the first place. Like, like this could just be completely fabricated, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna assume anything. Incubated by machines and born motherless in industrial hatchery, the male chick's short time on earth is filled with fear, bewilderment, and pain as workers push them through the grim stages of their life's journey from incubator to mass grave. So they're born and they're killed right away. Sorting, sexting, and slaughter. Let me explain that. As they're tossed about from hatching drawer to conveyor belt to sorting tray to the bone-breaking jaws of a grinder or the agony of the gas chamber or the horrors of the smothering bag, or the slow death in a dumpster filled with the dead and dying bodies of their brothers. These newborns never stop cheaping for mothers they never knew. Okay, that's really cool, vegan teacher. But then again, like, that's not me. Why are you telling us all this? It's not gonna make me want to go vegan because I know that I'm not consuming that animal. Like, it's ju it just doesn't make any sense to me. You can waste your time all you want reading this, but it just doesn't make any sense to why you're gonna tell this to everyone. Because at the end of the day, we don't consume newborn chickens. That is not... That that it just doesn't work like that. That there's not enough meat, it doesn't exist. Moms who are watching this, mothers, listen to me. How would you like it if somebody took your baby boys away from you and put them in a machine? Boys, you should be outraged that they do this to other males. It's horrible. And girls should understand too that chickens are not machines. What do you mean? It doesn't, it, you, you can't compare the genders and act like that they're the same things. It is a chicken. You can't compare human males to, to chicken males. They are two completely different things. Chickens have no clue what's going on. They are, they are, they are as dumb as a brick wall. They don't understand anything. That is why you can't compare like human males to chicken males. You can't sit here and say, you should be outraged at this because these are males. I don't care. It's a chicken. Like, how is it? This is actually ridiculous that this woman cares so much about a chicken that I'm not even consuming. I'm not eating this chicken. Like, why do you care? Like, you should be outraged at the meat industry. You know what? Do what you want. Go to the meat industry and say, stop killing newborns. You know what? Go on, do that. I don't care. But don't sit here and say I should be outraged when I'm not even doing anything. Everyone 
everyone should be striving to be vegan in this world. There's absolutely no reason to ever eat animals. Oh my god, vegan teacher, being vegan isn't going to stop this from happening because no one consumes these animals in the first place. It's gonna keep happening. You can do what you want. You can try and get people to stop like killing newborns, but at the end of the day, being vegan isn't gonna stop that. Like, how does that not make sense to you? Not like, uh, have you not been vegan for that long that you don't understand where the chicken actually comes from? It comes from adult chickens, not newborns. What is this? Yeah, you know what? I genuinely can't be bothered with this anymore. I don't know what's going into that vegan teacher. If you guys enjoyed this video at any point, please make sure you subscribe. We're trying to hit 300k by the end of the year. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.